Highly Suspicious Podcast with Louie and Preston. My name is Louie. My name is Preston. We are reporting once again live from the Trap House. You know, I say this every time, but this is a very special fucking episode. I'm extremely excited about this conversation. The Pro Union episode with uh, my neighbor, Jackie. Jackie's an uh, expert on unions, in my opinion. Uh, hello. Um... My name's Jackie. I, yeah, I also work with Preston. I live above him and to the left. Yeah. 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 And in, in the trap house. Yes. Yes. I, I have a funny mannequin on the front. I, uh, I also do union shit online. My favorite anarchist. Yeah. Yeah. I've spent an extended period of my life doing, uh, increasing, well, at first very just silly things. And then eventually it kind of got more coherent. And now I'm at the point of almost total coherency. I have a great amount of idea on what I'm doing finally. I'm not trying to organize something I don't understand. Mm. Because I accidentally went to college and got a degree in like history with like a focus in labor history. So I think I think your setup you is can, the funniest you, you part can, of this whole situation. You all can say where you work now. You don't have to. That's just true. Be like my job, my we work, work at, my job. At oh yeah, the local coffee chain, yeah. Heine Brothers. Yeah, we work at Heine Brothers. You might have heard of this. We're doing this cool union thing, and Jackie is a representative. Uh, What's your official title? Uh, what? I don't have an official. You don't title. Have an official no one title. has an official title. Yeah. We're. A union, you know. It's very we're non-union the, to have a title. We're, we're, we're not even union yet. We're, it's very established we're to still, have a title. We're still fighting for Dude, it. Dude, fucking titles are lame, man. Okay, so you you kind of gave... You gave kind of a background, but not really. So what's your background with this shit? You have a union background. Uh, Preston said that you had like charity work, right? Yeah, I've worked extensively with uh, uh, the opioid crisis and harm reduction organizations that uh, uh, either exist or no longer exist, but it was a well, well done time, and now the people who really know how to do it have stepped up and started doing it, so that's great. And I also did a lot of union stuff. Like where? Like, what do you do it for? Off the record? not really off the record it's just like it never really went off anywhere i like tried to do some stuff through folks in indy and i've tried in other Mm -hmm. places this is the only time it's actually went off but i have uh what some could say a, a heightened a heightened level of consciousness understanding of unionism some some would call it uh, a mental disability, but I call it a mental ability. I'm really autistic about unions, man. That's I'm, cool. Insanely. I know. It, so, I'm doing a really good thing for myself. I'm finally doing something I've always wanted to do. So it took a lot of trial and error to get up to this point? Is that what you're saying? That you had uh, uh, it was like pancakes where you throw the first one away, kind of. Yeah, uh, the first it, one's in the nicest you know, that's, way That's possible. how you get it started. I yeah, mean, Jackie's re- recruiting was like kind of just funny though, because like beauty oh, of the God. internet. Uh, uh, so so how long? Hold on. How long have you been with Heine Brothers? So uh, less than a month. Bro. Less than a month. Oh, fuck, fuck you! Like <laughs> I'm real close, like three so, and a half weeks. So you were recruited when the inception of the union was started, and mm, it was from the after internet. that. After that. I, this started several weeks ago. There are tons of people involved. I just so happened to get involved because I was on one of my least favorite mobile applications, uh, Grindr, mm-hmm. uh, where, uh, uh, so a hot guy was like, hey, you want to work at, th- this is the crazy part. Uh, it was the first offer on anything on Grinder I ever really accepted. Uh, a job at Heine Brothers? Yeah, he was like, you should apply to this place. And I said, 
Yeah, you know what? I do. The gas is very high. Mm. I was, as you know, Louie, I was a delivery driver. You, you know this as well. Wings, though. One For of Wings my favorite of. restaurants. It's a good, it's a <laughs> wonderful business. <laughs> wonderful business. Yes. Um. So I was like, fuck yeah, I do kind of need a new job. So I got the new job. Uh, and then I was talking to this guy and uh, he was like, hey. By the way, so you got the interview and stuff. You should like do this shit. You should like help us do this union thing. And I was like, wow, oh my god, I'm really into so, this kind of stuff. So, so. Which is again, first time I've ever been able to say this to someone on Grinder that oh my god, I'm so into that. Wow, um, crazy, right? Yeah. Uh, and now I'm here. Uh, so, so the intentions off rip was never. They, they weren't trying to recruit you into the union off rip. They were just trying to get you to no, join. I mean, they probably team. were. I definitely think they probably that, were. That, you so know that what? That's like, the next step of the revolution. We just start scouring through all of the dating sites to find new people to join the union. So, so I mean, it worked. It might have been, uh, it might have been an ulterior motive for, for them, but for you, it was just like, yeah, I'll work at Heine Brothers. Shit, I fuck mean, it, bro. They, they mentioned that this was happening, but they didn't make any offer to me about to be a part of it, of course, till I got the job. Yeah. And then they explained so, the real steez. I didn't know any of the real steez, but also just generally as someone who has certain political tendencies, I super am down with unions anyway. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe I do actually... People have, like, already gotten mad at me about at work because they think that I uh, just joined to do all this goofy union stuff. I mean, when um, Preston yeah, was explaining it, it kind of sounded like you were, like, this contract person that was signed on to be a union person. I mean, it was just fate, in a way. It was fate. I No, I don't have a contract. Was it fate or was Preston. it grinder? <laughs> it was grinder it was and grinder. fate. But that's also how I Preston, found out about it. don't tell people I'm getting contracted by a <laughs> union to do illegal stuff. You're so dumb, man. What the fuck? No, I don't have an actual it was, contract. It's just what it felt like. Yes, it felt like it was no. because a man was like, hey, you want to do some gay ass shit? Uh, and at Heine Brothers. And in ex at Heine Brothers. And in exchange, uh, maybe you get a job and maybe you help us do this other thing that you have an intense autism for. And, you know, as I've said, greatest offer I've ever gotten on that goddamn website. That's awesome. Um, That's yeah, awesome. very good. Very good. I It's the only one that I don't regret having having taken. Mm. Uh, also, there were a couple that, yeah, you know, whatever. Grinder. I Grinder, man. I don't, 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 don't talk to... Hey, shout out to Bellarmine University. Um, <laughs> wonderful students. Uh, in, oh. the, in the... In the... They're, the, they're like 22-year-old weird guys uh, who really want to like have sex with a trans girl they really really want to but not in like a gay way you know in in the in the only way that Bellarmine could honestly yeah in a, in a straight way because it's like a catholic school right yeah. i'm not from here i just know that catholic schools Probably bad. But my dad always like, said, sometimes bad. The Catholic my, school culture here is kind of weird. I it's really fucking weird. Oh, Jackie, there was like a Fight Club at one of the Catholic schools. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not I surprising. Mean, I'm sure there is at multiple man, Catholic dude, schools across the country dude, because dude. Catholics hate themselves, and of course they just want to beat the okay, shit out of them. They're, okay, like, okay. they're like jacking off into skulls, to and shit. They're, it's not just like Fight Club. That's just normal school shit. They're it's like skull jacking off thing. Uh, That's at Yale, but it's it, it's like a weird Catholic thing. That's why they're doing. It. Okay, let's <laughs> let's stick with the program, people. I, look, okay, I'm so if you are from here, you probably have heard some of the horror stories that have come out of Heine Brothers. If you are not from here, Jackie, do you want to kind of explain like why it is a fantastic thing that Heine Brothers is unionizing finally? Yeah, so. This company, as I always come to understand, mo as most companies do, um, is not really great to their employees. Would you say that, <gasps> Justin? I mean, <gasps> out of my almost two years there now, yeah. I mean, you gotta make sure people get their fucking breaks. Gotta give people meaningful benefits. Wait, you get breaks? 
No. Oh, no. yeah. I don't get a break. No, no you're no. saying no, no, that's no, no, no. the point of the union the, that oh. y'all are trying to get. I mean, breaks. yes, I have known people throughout my time there who do take breaks, but that is because they have the ability, which I do not, and a lot of people do not, to say, okay, fuck this. I've been here for four hours. I'm going on my break. And, like, if you're short staffed all the time, it is almost impossible to actually yeah. find the time. Unless you really are just like, I'm going on my break. So has COVID made the staffing shit worse? I don't know, because I got there you don't right think so? at... Oh, like, that's true. You were working at Walmart COVID. Back, back in the day. Dude, I was working at Walmart when it was like, you can't find hand sanitizer and toilet paper. Um, <laughs> Good times. Yeah. Poor, oh, poor yeah. Boy. Great times. Poor boy. Um, so, yeah, I've heard from a lot of people basically the same stories that Heine Brothers employees... Uh, are treated pretty shittily. I think that's what I've heard pretty across the board from everyone I've talked to about it. Most accurately, it is that people just are being taken advantage of. Because, like, the the break thing is, like, yeah, sure, you could say, fuck everybody else, I'm going to go on my break. And, like, even if you do, I understand, you got to take care of yourself. But it is also on the company to, like, try to make sure that people actually take breaks in a way, especially, like, minors and shit. Them just being, like, negligent and just relying on a workforce that's going to go out of their way for other people because people actually have good relationships with their coworkers is unbelievably fucked. More specifically, uh, broadly, I'd say, it's not just breaks. It's, uh... Um... It's so many things. Mm -hmm. It's it's almost impossible to name the amount of things. Uh, it's the way people are treated by uh, upper management. Mm -hmm. um, it's the way people are treated by lower management. It's the way people that uh, that are just generally good people uh, get pushed into these positions and uh, are forced to uh, do all these horrible things to people and uh, act kind of like a dickhead. So yes. The, 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 the general thing is there's a lot of things going wrong at this company. As you could imagine at like a Starbucks, which I'm sure people have a lot more knowledge with, uh, you could come to figure out sort of the same thing. It's very stressful. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to do all these uh, highly kind of, kind of risky tasks. You can burn yourself a lot, man. Caroline, oh, bad, dude. Caroline burned the fuck out of herself when she worked at Starbucks because she had some hot water and like somebody bumped into her. Mm -hmm. She had to like go to the hospital with honestly like, degree burn. Most of our so work yeah, it's it's definitely fucking dangerous. Yeah, and it's and and a lot of the problems that plague like a Starbucks are also plagued here because of just Starbucks kind of has at least through being so much alike they have like standards on like cafe space mm -hmm. and Heine brothers they're in like old banks yep they're in weird little spots sometimes the cafes are really small sometimes you don't have a back room hell i i don't think like more than like three of them have a break room um yeah that uh, is... that's more than just like a chair that's actually just in the back room yep very and it, it, some of them have like great facilities but some of them have incredibly poor facilities my store uh has pretty good uh at least like space your, in it your to move store around. is actually just so popular too yes that, it makes that so they, much like, money actually pay really Correct. good attention to it yes but honestly i do feel like a, a lot of the issues when it goes down to like store by store is the fact that the company's over ambitious in a way because their goal currently is to open like two stores every year for the next like five years or some shit mm -hmm. which is insane it That's, is insane they there's a recession locations going on, man dude. Exactly. The, there's like, and where else are you going to put them? Brothers. Yeah. Where are you going to put? Well, I, okay, don't don't say that. A lot of people work at. A lot of very nice people who are in our union work at most of these stores. <laughs> Hashtag no more. Hashtag no I, more. I'm not saying ever. Come on, we're not going that. We're not going for that. I we mean, want. We want. I'm, I'm, Motherfucker, if I'm we anti win Indiana, it, so I don't think we should have opened those stores. All Indiana. right, fuck you, pal. Come on, <laughs> you Indiana. son of a bitch. You can't, you bring me onto this show like, and you attack like, me like this. Like, where does you, the you want me to stay Hoosier on topic? Come. Actually, you might know where, what, what. Yeah, I do know where, where the, the word fuck Hoosier the word Hoosier, Hoosier, Hoosier comes, from? comes from. Where does it's, it come from? Um, Educators. at least six different uh, stories, but the one I generally believe in 
is uh, is that there's a very particular accent that people like me from uh, Indiana, especially the more hilly parts of Indiana, get. And there is a story of, and this is probably false, but this is the legend. All of them yeah, are legends. Of course. So my favorite interpretation is uh, that, uh, that Kentucky fishers on the Ohio River uh, would uh, paddle their way, and if they would get too close to the Indiana border sometimes where some houses would be of uh, people living in Indiana, uh, the, per- the people would call out at the boats, Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Oh. Um, and uh, now that's why everyone thinks <laughs> that's why we're that. Some people say it just means hill people, but I don't even know where they get that from. Yeah, that is a little... Little bay. It's also like don't you get only where... a third of the state has hills, exactly. man. A lot of it I don't is think excessively of Indiana as being flat. Hilly. Like, come on, man. It's a whole thing. So that does sound like some some dumb Kentucky shit, though. And I like the idea of Kentuckians naming it, the people who live in Indiana <laughs> that from like the beginning of that term it's, even existing. It's still reflected because Indiana has to glom on the Louisville success. Do you understand why we don't like Indiana people? Do you do you get you son of you, you bring me onto that? this program and attack me no. like this? I am an Indiana nationalist. I'm not. <laughs> I, You're an Indiana patriot. Yes, I'm a patriot for Indiana. Well, not a patriot. I'm not I, even a patriot for my state. Not not a patriot. I don't feel like I some sort of fatherland. Like I don't particularly like people from Kentucky either. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, but not in a fatherland patriot way. Not like that. I just but Indiana's in a like, hey, I'm great. from there, dude. In, no, Indiana's yeah. great. And it's fucking better than this fucking place, and it's better than fucking Ohio. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Fuck Ohio, though, yeah. And it's better than most of Illinois, if you don't count Chicago. Shout out Chicago. Shout out. Chicago. Um, very good town. Love that city. The whole uh, Chicago the whole of Indiana Chicago. is equal to outside. Well, also, of... I was explaining to somebody the other day how like fucking weird Indianapolis is. Like Indianapolis you mean the is the best not... city on earth. Really? No, um, no, it's really bad. Yeah, it's, it's really bad. It's like it is like so unreasonably large. It's for how shitty it is. Yeah, it's, it's not even better it's than Louisville, Louisville, but worse. Right? It's Louisville, but okay. Bigger hold on, and bigger crowded. and worse. But I do like the big like circle thing in Indianapolis. That thing's cool. Everything else, I don't even know what you're talking about. The I will say they, they got the, a rotund- the bigger the, rotunda. the, the rotunda. bigger. Part is that it's really hard for uh, a majority uh, black county city because the, the city of yeah. Indianapolis and Marion County are one government. It's a unigov, and it's really hard to big build bigger, taller buildings and not just one story and just you know spreading out as far as you can. Mm-hmm. If uh, that's mostly who live there, like the part of downtown where everything's fine, and like a few like of the weird suburbs. Uh, are where like you know like you know people like fucking us live, you know you know the, the, the other people, uh, and then the rest of the town is is generally fine. It's not shitty. It's it's it, it, the concept of it being shitty, in my at least opinion, is that people just don't like that. There's just like tons of black people there, hmm. just like tons of them. What Indianapolis? Yeah, tons of them. And this is, it's, 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 it, if you look at a demographic map, it's just a, a big, big orange. Well, depending on the to, on the way the map on the key, yeah. depending on the key. But this is all what I always thought about, and when looking at a geographic map, it's just a big, big orange dot where Marion County is, because that was like the safest place to go huh. in uh, Indiana. Because yes, the rest of Indiana is very bad. They still got the sundown town signs up. Oh my god! Uh, and Daleville, uh, it, they say that's a local legend. You, you know, can still find them on people's property. Oh my god! Yeah, um, it it's bad. I'm not saying it's good. I'm just saying it represents America, and yeah, to deny the absolutely. fact that Indiana is the most American state uh, is. I mean, it uh, kind of is. Like, when I think of Indianapolis, I do think it's, like, gross, but in the very American, like, gross capitalist kind of way. It's, yes, it is. It's no it, shittier than Cincinnati. It's yeah. no shittier than anywhere else. It's just a big city that has all the same shitty problems. Indianapolis is, like, one of the only good parts of that place, and I fucking hate that city. 
Not for not for it any sound reason. It like that, you like Indiana either. No, I just hate that city for different reasons. I I, I had a bad time, man. A I just had time. a bad time. It's like I hate Indianapolis in the way you would hate a specific hotel in Cincinnati. Like I had a shitty time staying at the at the Best Western off of like I sixty four. In in Cincinnati, I don't even know if sixty four goes through Cincinnati. But do y'all remember when Best Western had like water parks inside of them? I don't think they do that anymore. But they used to be like, yeah, isn't that crazy? I they went to had, one like, in Toledo, 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 what Ohio, Michigan? No, Ohio, Ohio, Ohio. Is in Ohio. Okay, I. There might be Toledo, this Michigan. it's the there one probably that, is. Well, it's right on the border. There was a border conflict between the two states over who owns Toledo, and sometimes I forget which one won. The uh, the Ohio River protects Indiana and Kentucky from doing that. Because yeah. y'all would want, would try to claim it if you could. No, you guys would ju- would just take the part that like geographically makes much more sense. The third of the state that like is the same as Kentucky. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, because it's literally just like flat until you get to the bottom third of the state, and then it's basically just more Kentucky. It is more Kentucky, but but it yeah. has the it has the Indiana aspect of being more American than any other fucking place. Sorry, what were you saying about uh? Uh, Best Western in Toledo. Oh, I went to a Best. They had a water park. Yeah, I can't no, it was best imagine the last cool. time I was at a water park. I me neither, man. I fucking hate it. I mean, bro, man, I love water cool. parks. Lazy River. That's when you're it. like fat and you don't like taking off your shirt because you like you you don't like that you have like fat kid titties, but also like you like it, but like in the way that you feel like you need to cover them up because you have like a gay thing going on. The, the, you could understand why I don't water like water parks. parks that much. But I had a fun time at the one at the Best Western because I could very quickly, if I started getting uncomfortable, run back to my hotel room. Much easier. You can't run back to a hotel room. If you're in the um, middle of a fucking water park. At, at just any you, water If you're park. at fucking Six Flags, you can't run back to the hotel room. You gotta get you, you just go back to the car and sit in a hot <laughs> car for the next five hours. I really like Which that. happened a couple times, man. Damn. It sucks. What are we fucking... How do we get here? The this Indian. always happens. I'm God re- damn it. I really like... Uh, Preston, the... you can't tell me you want this to be special and important and then let this happen. I'm trying so hard. You're I... fucking killing me, no, man. No, no, no. You wait, gave wait, wait, me wait. like this four is... bowls before this thing and you're asking me to be <laughs> goddamn coherent. No, Fuck. Uh, Splash and Safari at Holiday World is incredible. <laughs> Uh, that shit slaps, man. 100%. Uh, Santa Claus, Indiana. Shout yeah, out. The, the be- best, best city in Indiana. Indiana. Yeah. Outside of Muncie, which is the best city that. in Indiana. <laughs> I actually co-signed that. But It's yeah, actually Muncie, the, Indiana. Shout the out. The Wildebeest out was, the longest, was the longest water coaster in the world at one point. And then the Chinese built a bigger water coaster. Damn Chinese. And then in a great act of American defiance... They they built the mammoth, and the mammoth was the biggest water uh, coaster in the world. So, oh my god! So yeah, in well, that way, Indiana is very American. Yeah, true. Yeah, they said we're, China can't take our longest water coaster. We're doing that shit again. Yeah, <laughs> they called the they called them crazy for making the mammoth. Also, they because did. of how incredibly horrible people from Indiana are just to Asian people. Yeah. It's very weird how bad it is. Yeah, um, it's really sad, actually. Yeah, no, totally. Oh, but also... Pilgrim's Plunge. Yes. That thing was fucked up. You realize how fucking unsafe that was? That's why they took it down. Wait, I think wh- which one was off. that? So, basically, it's like a log thing, but they, uh, oh, they push yeah, you in yeah, a yeah, log... Yeah. But they put you on this elevator that takes you like a million feet into the fucking air. And then you fucking whoosh. And, and there's no like support or anything. Like you're not even strapped in, I don't think. Oh, that's, yeah, that sounds bad. But yeah, they took it away because it was so fucked up. Sorry. Damn. See, and that's, sorry, what That's the most saying? American shit right there. Um, I don't know. We were talking about a union. We can, we can go back to that. 
No, uh, hold hold on. I we were, but I have points about to make still water, water coasters? coasters. No, not about water coasters. About Indiana. <laughs> you you can't you can't you can't you attacked me, and I still need to defend myself. Okay, you did. Uh, no, I need to defend myself more. You defended yourself great by agreeing with us, Jackie. I no, think it's a good. It's still <laughs> I good. Guess it's still good. It's because if you are an individual. Who say wants to have the fullest experience in life? Why not have the fullest American experience? Go to the oldest Go. gay bar in this part of the state, uh, but on the way, a man in a clan outfit throws a brick in your direction. It's it's wonderful. I mean, it's horrible, but it's wonderful if you're someone who really likes. We're like, wow, I'm truly a, having the American. This experience is like right everything now. here happens. <laughs> everything that happens everywhere else happens here more. That day, Jackie was like, "This is the American dream." <laughs> I mean, it is. It really is. If you don't think the American dream is just the ability to that for people to both go to a I gay mean, bar true. or get murdered by a Klansman. <laughs> Uh, then you're lying to yourself. That's exactly what it is. The freedom of choice to have people that want to kill you, but also the freedom of choice to congregate in a place for them to find you and kill you. It's wonderful. I mean... Shout out U.S. history. Hell yeah. Shout out George Washington. Shout out that motherfucker with his weird-ass teeth that he probably stole from, like, like dead black people. Oh? Uh, I mean, yeah... Probably but, there's oh. there, he he had like may a may or may not have that's may or that's may why you have. get told that they're made of wood and ivory and animal teeth because that's better than the truth probably yeah probably a <laughs> the, lot better the people than writing the truth. history books they saw it coming they were like uh maybe it's not a good taste for the first United States president ever to be we should having change the teeth this. of dead slaves. Yeah, uh, uh, no, uh, history is... Fuck uh, George Washington. By the yeah, fuck George Washington, actually. Now, the shout-out to that bitch being dead. Hell yeah. <laughs> Woo! What do you Rest think is actually smoking, smoking that George Washington pack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. That shit gave him pneumonia. He died. That's how he died. That and his, his doctors being like... He, like, got a doctor from the 12th century somehow... Who was like, we need to balance your humors and just <laughs> like no just they had drained a all of his humors blood. Yes, oh they God. drained all of his blood. That's why he died of pneumonia. He could have gotten over it. He wasn't that old and sick. But his doctor literally fucking killed him on accident because he just they drained like five pints of blood from him. It's like Michael Jackson's doctor. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah, it's the same thing. They did it to Michael Jackson. Some could say it was a deep state conspiracy and that they were finally going back to that old play when they took him out. Some would say Michael Jackson was the reincarnation of George Washington. <laughs> I don't well, I don't think anyone would say that. I think I just did. Okay. <sighs> oh my god, Louie. So Heine Brothers Coffee, a wonderful place. Wait, you would a great place. Well, I don't wanna have to share this on the union chat. This god damn it, people are going to think we're fools. Of course. I edited it to make it sound smarter than we actually are. True. Oh, That's okay. True. Thank you. I appreciate Louis that does so make much. Leave that in so everyone clean. knows. I want it to be very transparent that 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 we don't sound very smart right now. So, uh, I'm going to bring it way back. Way, way, way back. Before water coasters, before Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back to that coffee shit. So, you mentioned a few times you all have a union but you haven't won the union yet. Yeah. So what exactly does that mean? What does victory look like for you all? Ooh. Um, so when we say we are a union, it's because we basically already act in this fashion. Yeah. Um, in the general term of things, a lot of union organizing, people don't really have the spirit that we already have. I do think it's a prime environment for yes, it. Yes, it's, it's a very hot shop, as it would be called. Um, people are very excited about it and talk it's a about shithole. it, and they talk about it constantly. And there's a constant scale of communication, so it already really feels. Uh, one of the union representatives from uh, Pittsburgh said this uh, the day of our press conference to us that we really already are a union because mm -hmm. we are acting like one and we're doing everything. We just haven't won the contract yet. 
Yeah. Uh, and recognition. Uh, what what contract do you have contract. to win? So how a union works is uh, there's. Sorry, you're gonna just yeah, have to I'm spell gonna, it out for me. Yeah, I don't know shit no, about it's, shit. Yeah, it's no, it's okay. I'll spell it the fuck it's out. It's complicated. I, I honestly, spell it out for the stupid people in the back. I'm, no, it's not a stu. I'm one of those stupid people in the back. I'm just autistic about it. Come on, man. Uh, anyway, so to get a union, you have to get it recognized by the company. This can be done. Company staying neutral until the union can uh, win an election through the National Labor Relations Board, or get enough people uh, in the bargaining unit to sign on to a petition uh, demanding recognition of the union. And if the company stays neutral. Or if they, uh, this is like a thing that I don't think like happens, but I mean, I guess theoretically it could happen. The company, you could be like, hey, Fuck every single work- union worker. Well, no, huh. we'll get to that. I'm saying a company can theoretically also say when they find out about the union, we are open to this union and then it would be a union. Yeah. It would just be create because the company. But that like never happens but that because never happens. companies. That doesn't happen, but it's a theoretical option. You either get the, that, or uh, the boss does his own campaign. He's against the union, not remaining neutral. Mm-hmm. Union uh, busting. They do union busting. They intimidate workers. They, uh, they, they, they do whatever they can to sort of gum up the works and stop the either uh, like effort to get a petition signed by a super majority not a simple majority it has to be a super majority what's a super majority statistically because i what is it i made that up it's not 99 percent. it's like you said it so confidently you fucker i god i don't I'm the know number guy Hold even on. if i don't know the numbers i'm the number guy okay. generally i think it's 60 percent is how it's is how it's laid out cool, cool. God, why did my work chat open? Uh, I'm also so fucking excited. Yeah, I'm very excited too. Uh, so yeah, that's how you can make a union. Uh, in our situation, the boss is against it. He sent out a very funny uh, email. Poorly constructed. Uh, poorly, poorly constructed email. <laughs> so you just got this gig at Hiding Brothers. Do you ever think that you might have to... Stay at Heine Brothers for an extended period of time because you it's are not higher up in the, the union. Worst. I'm not higher but up. Stop not. saying I'm high up in things. I'm not. <laughs> Preston, what are you telling this man about me? He's I going to know. go around town <laughs> just saying, ah, oh, yeah, so. Jackie's the commandant of the new Red International and, is, and I'm going to get fucking shot because of you, you fucking dickhead. Come Luis on. literally just like... Making shit up as he goes along. Anyway, I'm not making anything. I'm not okay. You, <laughs> you make a lot of things up. It seems uh, like email. I gotta figure out a quick okay. way to find it. I to answer your question, kind of not in the way to answer part of it. I personally do really kind of like the job. It's the yeah. first one where I've been able to be like a, a, a girl at and not feel like I'm going to be murdered by a co-worker. Yeah. Or uh, if I was to be murdered by a customer, my co-workers would avenge me uh, in some way. Yeah, no. Um, well, that's nice at least. Yes, the, I really like my co-workers. co-workers are the best I would part like of to this be fucking avenged. job, dude. Yes, that's the point. I, the, the, without this union shit, I would have liked to fucking work here even though it's... Like, I'm still getting paid more than I was as a delivery driver. But I mean, obviously. Not much, but that's just, but I, yeah, that's about obvious. Well, and but these working was, conditions are just, like, fucking shitty. It's, I, like, it's kind of respect hellish. Respect me a little bit, you know? They've built a wonderful community of, uh, of like, queer folks and just wonderful uh, other folks that work at Heine Brothers, and they're all very cool and fun and nice, and uh, they're a hell of a good time to hang out with. Uh, and we all have just uh, a very good, positive energy towards each other. And it, that's the good part of the coffee shop. That's why the coffee shop probably is even profitable at the way it's run. Because it's run kind of silly. I mean, I don't have like an actual like knowledge on how business works. But my dad ran a business for a tiny amount of time. And I know at least... Some things I feel like you should or should not do, also based on just, you know, knowing union stuff, because well, and you get to see how businesses do things think, wrong uh, a lot. And they do a lot of things wrong. The wage is capped 
at around 975. Yeah, this is recent. Wait, really? Yeah, isn't it? I didn't fucking know about that. For baristas, I should say. For baristas. You can get more if, if you you're... become a shift lead or... If you become a shift like lead or okay. if you become an assistant manager. Or if you But that's the starting capped wage. The starting wage is nine. Uh, they've said on the news and in this letter... That's we're shitty. About to... That's really shitty. Yeah, yeah. it's really shitty. And like, they've said on the news and like this letter we're about to read that this is a lie, they say. They say this is a lie because uh, the the oh, on the news my my least favorite part of their response is them saying this is actually far less than any of our employees actually make, which is an absolute fucking lie. Somebody told me that uh, they don't even think they actually do the because the reason that they're saying it's a lie is because they have a guaranteed e tip amount. So if credit card tips drop below three dollars. They're supposed to guarantee three dollars. So, in a way, yes, you would be m- making a minimum of twelve dollars an hour, mm-hmm. and some change. But the company is not paying for that because they, th- basically the way it works is it's, they only have to do that at the stores that are not making three an hour in credit card tips. So it, any other so they're not store, paying the three dollars. They're counting tips basically. Yeah, basically. They and which is what they always like to do. So they're not so actually paying anybody twelve wage. an hour. They are paying people fucking nine dollars I mean, an hour. Paying some people twelve an hour, but those are assistant yeah. managers and and yeah, the, the management as we were saying, um, or lower management, like lower lower management, like assistant managers who are in our bargaining unit or shift mm-hmm. leads who are also in our bargaining unit are also they're paid more than nine, yeah. But they have to do so in, much work. It's why I haven't taken a raise. Insane amount of work. It's what a lot or of or like a promotion. Don't take the promotions because it's just you get paid like kind of more. In oh, some I cases, get a quarter more for like being a, a shift quarter, lead, and yeah. I have to sit and have some extra responsibilities and feel like I owe the company something in a way. Yeah, and and they have to do a shit ton of stuff that like managers should definitely be the ones actually doing it. Mm-hmm. um especially it, how as assistant managers really just act as just like baristas that have to do more shit work yeah um it's a very I would never fucked be an assistant system manager. it's an insanely fucked system it's just like yeah you're the guy who has to be there at 5:45 basically mm-hmm. every day and you're the guy who well, has to do all the really annoying bullshit well and we're short staffed yeah. It's incredibly short staffed. It's and it's saying it could those tasks that they assign onto assistant managers could be theoretically covered by assistant managers if there were more than just one assistant manager per store. But and that's, if all the stores weren't understaffed like all the fucking time. Like I've been there for the almost two years, and I swear to God, if if anybody asks me something, I can always say we're always hired. Like, there, we're always, even when we have been the most staffed we have ever been at my store, you we have still be. had, we're hiring signs, and we have still been down, like, one or two people just to pick up on a couple days where we, we actually need people with, like, some different availability. It's so fucked up. They're, they're so lazy, in a way. Yeah. Hey, Louie, could you, um... I'm asking you a specific question, and it's not addressed to anyone. We're, we're leaving this this part out. Can you say, come on down to Heine Brothers and get a job? It's shitty, but wink. But you have to say it, though, because if I say it, we could get in trouble. Can you do it? <laughs> to get people Here, to uh, join our cause, Louis. I'm going to have to write it down. Edit no, it in just, post. just, no, just I can't, say... I can't do it just, off the dome like that. Say it again. Just say, uh, hey, maybe... Go get a maybe a, people could go get a job there. I don't know. Hey, welcome to Heine Brothers. <laughs> okay. This is the worst job you will ever have, but at least you'll meet some new friends who share similar caffeine addictions. Join us today. Wow, we could sell this to the company, actually. I know, right? You want to sell out, dude? Yeah. We could sell yeah. out, and we could have Louie be... I'm down to sell out. Thing. Yeah, let's fucking sell out, dude. For <laughs> Heine Brothers. Totally fuck <laughs> all of the wonderful new relationships we've made. Yeah. Uh, my my partner would probably leave me. 
your partner would probably leave me. We'd have each other, though. And It'd would, be worth it. And we would take all the money they gave us and go down to the Derby Casino and blow it all. And then we'd use whatever we had left to buy blow and then blow our brains out. Th- the three Bs. At the Heine Brothers. Blow your wad, blow some blow, and then blow your brains out. The three Bs. Yeah. Or the first B could be betting. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to do something. Don't actually do that. Gambling's bad. Gambling, um, is, gambling bad. is an I ill-advised... Disagree. Okay. Uh, it's... Gam- yes, I gambling think it's, is cool. It is cool. It makes you so, a cool so guy, is, but so is officially... Cigarettes. I mean, yeah. Make, smoking cigarettes also does... Wait. No. Oh, uh, Wait, this is no, no. We are not doing advertisement. You, you are wearing a propaganda hat, Jackie. No, no. I'm taking the camel hat off. We are not. Welcome to cigarettes. No. <laughs> no, no. Cig- nobody else should smoke cigarettes. Oh, my Welcome God. you got to stop cig- saying cigarettes or I'm going to have to go smoke a cigarette. I'm sorry. Damn. You motherfucker. Weed, weed, weed. Weed, weed, weed. Marijuana cigarette. Ooh. Where? That's actually, I'm lunch, pretty sure that lunch, is joints, pre rolls. I'm pretty sure marijuana cigarette is how my grandfather would refer to a, a joint. Marijuana cigarette. Is there anything left in this? That's such an old person. It this. really is. My mom told me that my grandfather is never going to listen to this. Told me that my grandfather used to be like a huge stoner, mm-hmm. or at least likely was, because anytime. That she would be smoking and he would like bum a cigarette or always hold it like a joint. Never like a cigarette. Always like a joint. Real. Real stoner shit. I think Italians do that too. He's not Italian. Yeah, what are I you? used to smoke uh, cigarettes like Irish, that. British, German. Oh, that's pretty God. white. That's Imperialist pretty, oh, as fuck. God. That's pretty oh. white, buddy. I think oh. you should apologize. But I, but I, <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I think but, you should feel guilty but, for that. But. I don't I'm, know if I'm mostly that out there. I, I like so to think I'm like. <laughs> I'm. I'm honestly. I'm like mostly British, and Ugh, mostly German. The most. But in my white, mind, I'm like white, ah, my white. my Irish roots. You know, like I'll be like, like I got every, green eyes and freckles. I'm totally Irish. You mean you mean like a person who lives in America? Because we all just kind of assume that. Yeah. Just kind of like a base because a we don't. Fucking nobody Irish. knows. I'm Slavic, knows. which is like the black people. Is it? What? I okay, hold on. How why do I hear this all the time from you people? I'm not it just is, Slavs. It, it I, is I, though. I, this, I you're the second that. guy I, who's like, I'm a Slav and the, and I'm the <laughs> black people of the white thing. people. Why is I that mean, always I your mean, bit? I don't they think that's like, true. They they're are, white people. No no no, Jackie, to, I think to Eastern funny. Europe, Slavs really are the other though. I mean, yeah, they're the other, but they're they're, they're, they're not, not the they're other. Not the other. Hey, you know? I, I don't like that term. <laughs> the other. No, that's the. You get what I'm saying though, where you can <laughs> see somebody and be like, "Oh, they're European, but they're bad? like, Is... but they're like Eastern European." Should I, leave I don't that know in? Is about that. Bad? Should we leave that in? Is that bad? I think it's. I don't funny. know it's... about. They're still white. Like, there's nothing wrong with like. Shitting on how Preston, other white people are different. Preston, when I run for the United States of America, oh, that are, going to when I up. run for the United States, of America. I well, we didn't mean that in the fucking like the other just is the concept of like uh, you, so you different, different than the okay, norm, okay. and yeah, like. I'm sure Europeans are like, ah, goddamn slobs. I mean, but it's the same uh, but reason like, that people will be like, fucking Polacks, or like... I'm not even really that Slavic, I'm really just bullshitting. <laughs> like, the fuck you mean? I'm like Norwegian. Polak. That's not really Slavic, That's not it? Slavic. You're not supposed to say Polak anymore, I know. but I think it's really, I, it's too funny. I have a friend who's a Polak, and Why? I, I'll let them, I'll use that as my, uh... What the fuck is a Polak? Okay. That sounds like a slur. You all are, it is a slur, but it's a it's slur, a slur for, for white for people, people, so... Fuck it. What is it? It's a slur for Polish people. What what what's the word again? Polak. I like that. See, <laughs> see. Okay, we can't Luke just said, let this. Oh, that's a slur. Uh, I'm white. I don't actually. It's not. I have joked before about how like sometimes it is funny if something feels like a slur. We can't share this on it. the union chat. We can't. 
There are going to there are Polish people in that union chat. I'm sure I've well, seen well, one of their damn, names. We just alienated all the uh, Indian people. We just alienated all the Polish people. Put in like some nice elevator music for the last <laughs> however many seconds. We're 50 minutes in. No one's gonna get this far. <laughs> <laughs> I do think that's your mentality on a lot of it, and I love it because we do definitely get way more like hilarious and off track. In the beginning, when we we're actually talking about shit, I edit it so it sounds cohesive and smart yeah. or whatever. And then we get to the point in the episode where we're talking about water parks, where we're getting a little tangenty, but it's not to the point where it's unsalvageable. And then we get back to a point. And then we start talking about like Chinese guns or something. And it's, <laughs> we did talk I, about Chinese guns. I Why are we? I can't edit anything when we get to Chinese guns. That's the fifty-minute mark. That's Chinese guns. Deep breath. Do you want me to pop your back then? Right now. Do it right now. Yeah, just just. My back I'll is do so the fun. union pitch. They're gonna pop. They're gonna do a back popping while I do the union <sighs> pitch. Oh. Okay. <laughs> they're how? Okay. Now they're doing something oh. else. Uh, <laughs> all right, and, okay, union pitch. Um, but I do want to specifically <laughs> shout out to anyone listening to this. I, if you actually want to have a very cohesive, uh, how do you do this thing? I think the first bit was pretty cohesive. I think, it, I think it, it was it always was good at addressing how, like, it was real. why, the why. And I do feel like when people have been asking questions and, like, sort of confrontational about it, I do feel like it's because they don't seem to understand the why. Yes, the why is incredibly important. It's the, the, the reasons why we're doing this, I mean, it's simple as, it's, it's incredibly complicated, but can it, be, it can be summed up as we all really like each other. Mm-hmm. We all really like working here, but the way... We just want to be better. The, yes, yeah. and, but, and we've gotten to the point after years of talking to HR and talking to office managers, this is me quoting other people, I've only worked here I've witnessed weeks. it. Preston, thank you. Um, for, for, for years of talking to these people, they don't do the things they say they'll do. They will uh, say they will be very nice and they will smile and shake your hand and say, mm-hmm. yes, I will get this done. But the thing won't get done, and it sure budgetary reasons, not enough money. But it's bullshit. They yeah, because not everything's me. about the money. It's fucking bullshit because they have the money. They mm-hmm. have so much money. Coffee is such a high earning industry. They have the money. It, any and any they're lie, capping you the baristas at fucking nine dollars an hour. So they have all yeah, of not the capping. We income. start at nine dollars, but we just get capped at nine nine seventy five. Well, and it should quarter, be. I would at least cap it like above ten. Like at least yeah, get Jesus, to a, a dollar higher a than your fucking quarter raise I mean, is nineteen ninety four shit when this company was founded. Mm-hmm. It's not in twenty six years has it really gone up more than anything. I, mean, I for Christ's sakes, I earn eleven dollars an hour at fucking Home Depot. You all definitely work harder than I worked at that fucking job, I'll yeah. tell you that. You all are making shit like I the do entire feel like shift. You all are doing or shit some the bullshit. entire or shift. Dealing with just shitty people. Like you really underestimate how many garbage uh, human beings there are. This this I don't know about this. Um <laughs> Yeah, hold but on just a second, like, mate. But just like customers can be unbelievably rude. We do have customers who have been like banished from stores because they've literally harassed people we have had somebody at my store who like when i first got there was about to get banned because they like threw a drink at the window which and they get their drink extra hot they were mad because it wasn't extra hot enough like i did not realize how many crazy and like entitled entitled and just Dumb people there are, and when you deal with that for seven hours of your day, it totally goes home with you, and you should be compensated for that in some way. Yeah, and also we have a lot of good customers. We do, who are really nice, and, and the dogs, and, and very very good dogs, very good boys, incredibly good boys, and girls, good, and and whatever kind of dog you have, whatever your dog identifies, whatever your dog as, identifies as. But regardless, we love, we love it, we love it. Um, but there are really nice customers, and it sucks. 
because I would love to provide a great experience all the time mm-hmm. for all the really wonderful people, the families that I see come in on specific days, and they all get the same thing. It's all cute and stuff. People doing their homework. People just trying to have a nice experience. But it's just constantly impossible to keep up at the high level of providing like a good coffee shop experience when you're not paid enough for it and you just constantly feel like, God, I'm not paid enough to deal with this bullshit. I and very... you act like that. And, and people can fucking notice. Yeah. Right. And you're understanding. Right. And yeah. all of this shit. Yeah. And the way that people are treated, the, the lack of like uh, accessibility that's given at the job for people with like autism. Or I feel with, bad like, because I didn't, I've been at the company for a while and I didn't necessarily even realize that. But I have had that happen like once at my store where I think somebody had some form of disability and the company really gave them a hard time about it. And it pissed me off and, and I felt bad, but I didn't really know what I could do no. to like help. Yeah, there's like disabled people that work at this company that need to be able to take breaks like we all should be able to, but mm-hmm. like extra super duper. And they actually, because unlike people who are more abled like you or me, uh, you know, they, they really do, like, stand up for themselves a lot more, like they should. Uh, but the company will be fucking They'll resistant. still be fucking resistant, because they're like, well, if we give you a break, we'll have to give everyone a break, and right. make sure everyone gets a break, and that's not fair. And it's like, motherfucker, you want this person to keep working here and be a good fucking employee, or are you just trying to recycle people, like Amazon fucking does? Yeah. And if you're trying to be a progressive company... Uh, you can't just be doing Amazon shit all the time. Which is a total facade. Right. Which is a yes, total right. fucking facade. 150% facade. Because when, when you think local and you think, you know, Heine Brothers, they're trying to put this message out, this isn't progressive at all. No, the it's not. The company is not progressive even remotely, which is the same thing with, like, our politicians a lot of the time. They're, they're fake progressive, yep. fake woke, whatever. Yep. Yeah. And they, it's just the most harmful thing in the world because you can get away with so much shit like this. I honestly think, though, that, like, like I said, somebody who was able to surround themselves with the right people, and in a way surround themselves with the right idea at the right time, because, like, it was maybe a more progressive company at the time of its founding, but it has evolved into a, and I said this at the, come at me, bro, I said this at a meeting where I was like, I honestly think Mike Mays is kind of greedy. Like, in a way, there's no way that you're treating your employees, and I don't even think it's just the baristas. I think it is a company-wide thing. Like, I bet people in upper management don't even get the respect that they deserve. Like, there's no way that you're actually progressive because it is so easy to just pretend to be. But if you're actually progressive and have actual progressive ideals, then you know to treat people like people. Like, you have the same self respect for people as you have self respect for yourself. Yeah. Can I, I backtrack? Can yeah. I backtrack? Yeah, 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 yeah. So have you heard about anyone like getting in trouble for being in the union? Um, I mean there there's definitely been some pushback. There are the people who are against it are really against it yeah. and I mean that makes sense like from a just a very normal, easy to understand perspective. This is a large amount of change. Mm-hmm. And we live in a highly turbulent time, and for some people, very rightfully, they don't uh, necessarily want to go through a whole bunch of change right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, but also, it's important to remember, especially in these times of incredible struggle, that the only way to get out of this situation at this point is if we all just sort of band together and right. try and make things change. Otherwise, eventually, things will change anyway, but it will not be in any way for the better. Yeah. Uh, so it's it, either we seize the moment now, or, or things change for the worst. Things will just continue to change for the worst. This it's not like this came up as some sort of great political inspiration just by the like Starbucks stuff or the Amazon stuff. It this is it needed to happen. It needed to happen. This has been a long-standing thing. We we've heard from people who worked at Heine Brothers 10 years ago who tried to start a union. Uh, and and that did, and we're fine. This is just like the culmination of uh, the decade or more mm-hmm. of negligent practices at this company uh, that is finally coming to a head. And this union is uh, strong, organized, and incredibly committed to making uh, our voices heard and getting that seat at the table and getting a fair contract negotiated. It's hard to say... 
Exactly. If anything has happened concretely that's like, I guess, union-based, like, stigma, uh, outside of just, like, having to work with people who uh, loudly are expressing, like, disinterest in something that, personally for me, is really important, and I'm sure for a lot of people who have worked there a long time, this is a very important thing in their life mm-hmm. now and a chance for them to, like, have a better and good life. And that's very hard to deal with when you're working with, like, a coworker who's, like, being kind of rude about it. But at the same time, it's not going to stop us. They can get about as upset as they want, but it's not like it matters. What, what, we will, a lot of these people are mostly just misinformed about Barry. how union work, unions work. Yeah. The company itself has talked about how, like, don't sign up for this because then they can, they'll start charging you dues. Oh, no. Uh, which it's not literally even can't to be happen. It's not a significant amount. You, yeah, it's until it's not even. a significant amount. And also, it can't happen until it's a union. And also, Kentucky's got actually a good law about it. Well, it's, I a, think right, it's, I think it's, it's a right to work state. I think, it's, I think that's a reasonable practice though it, it, it has done nothing but destroy industrial unionism i'm from i'm sure the core. i'm sure uh but it's it's reasonable in the sense that like yeah you shouldn't force people to do it whatever they want but it makes it incredibly hard to organize long-lasting unions yeah. because uh i do i do get I have the benefits but you don't have to like even do anything you don't have to much less the, the dues aren't or... important the dues are one incredibly reasonable for the pay raises and the benefits that, that a union provides, it's whatever the boss tells you, it's far lower than that. On average, no, no more than $30 a paycheck, which is less than the goddamn government takes. And that's if you earn, like, if you're in the higher earning bracket at a job. If you're well, in the lower earning bracket, it can average out at, like, an 18. Yeah. And that's only per, like, two-week paycheck. And, like, look at it this way. One shift every two weeks is for everyone else it's not just for you it's for your coworker who needs to pay their rent it's for all of the friends you've made at work who need to be able to put food in their fridge and it's for all of the customers who want to have a good experience with like non-starving non-near homeless uh baristas who talk to them and are nice to them and give them the coffee and not just go ah it's probably fine and just hand it out because they're so fucking tired. Yeah. Not that I've ever done that, because I, I have uh, dedication. And I totally haven't done so, that either. No, I really haven't. I, I, I haven't. I promise. You're, you're, too, really you're too new, Jackie. There, you haven't gotten to that point. I'm it, too dedicated. It happened to me pretty quickly. Well, yeah, but I also... What's... I'm autistic about doing a good job about mm-hmm. stuff, man. Come on. What's the point of the dues? What's it actually going towards? Um, so we have a union rep who does approximately, uh, at this point in the campaign, like 80 hours of work a week. I swear. Um, so he, he would get paid for it, basically? Yeah, yeah we want to make sure the people cool. who do... Who run the shit. Right, who and do who all really helped to get it going. Yeah, without our union reps and the support of the union, this wouldn't have happened at all. Mm-hmm. And also, the payment of dues goes into, it's, it's not like it's just going into just, like, the president of SEIU's pocket. Mm-hmm. It goes back into your union. And yeah. it's used to pay union staff at the union hall mm-hmm. who organize the campaign for you and organize union stuff, field That's calls, cool. stuff like that. You should get paid for that. Yeah, exactly. and you should get paid for that. And it's basically, union dues just creates a budget for the union. Uh, imagine it like that. It's like you've joined a club, and your club needs to have money to be able to buy paper or buy pencils mm-hmm. or, uh, I don't know, throw a nice little cookout. Right, because or... that, that, that is part of what unions do, too, is like if the reality is they are trying to embolden a sense of community amongst you and your coworkers, like they're going to do stuff to help you feel like you have a stronger bond. Yeah, it's it, it 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 it's the ultimate bond. We're all in this together. Once a union is one, and we have that contract, we we speak as one incredibly powerful voice, and that and it's incredibly uh, freeing, and it's an incredibly freeing concept because and that might people are like, I think it's beautiful too. I think it's fucked up that the company will like try to perverse that and say like, oh, the the union dues are what's bad about unions and the. 
you're not going to have a voice anymore. The union's going to speak for you. Okay, at, at least I'll be heard. Like, yeah, and also the not have a voice anymore thing is like that's literally not even that. If the union's job is to speak for you, then talk to the union, and the union will speak for you. Yeah, it turns out. That the union really speaks without consulting their workers. If, for instance, you live in a right-to-work state where workers don't feel the need to pay the dues and they don't, mm. and thus don't get involved in the union stuff and realize that, oh, these are a bunch of people exactly like me who generally I'm probably but friends I also, with. I also hope that anybody who's not going to be agreeing to pay the union dues isn't going to be doing it like, oh, I don't have to pay that money and I still get to have the union do stuff for me. It, I hope that anybody that experienced the positive results of the union would actually be willing to help the union. I mean, yeah, but that's not how right to work works. That's a little bit. See, now, now I got you. Yeah, all this work we're doing, anyone that gets hired after we win it, uh, they can just elect not to pay in, but they I know. still get all the things I know. we got for uh, doing all this actual. But I really hope labor. that we actually hire like decent people because we seem to have a good history of hiring decent people otherwise i don't think this would even be starting yes yes certainly it's i'm it the great people work here we all really like each other and union dues are great yeah it's going to pay you some like your guy union. you should like your union it's going to pay for some guy and yeah the union takes a little bit of the dues hey it's like it's like, it's like, it's like hey can you i should using ask our branding can you can we have like anything for this <laughs> and also we drove out literally like fucking 35 people from pittsburgh on they, our dime to come do. to our press conference we all got just at least a little clean time, right? Well, a little bit. And also, that's all up to us. It's not like they decide what happens to the dues money. We, the union, decide what happens to it. Fuck it. People but need fuck to be it. paid. People need to be paid. If you want to get paid, so does your fucking union rep. Jesus Christ. And also, cookouts. And, uh... Go Paper and pins. Paper and pens, cookouts, uh, like a big group trip to Kings Island. Everyone gets a ticket on the, the picture on the roller coaster. Doing can I the, like, yeah, you can bring a plus one, probably. See, it's really yeah. fun. Unions are cool and I'll fun. I don't union. know what these people. I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> try to unionize your job, Louis. How do you think that would go? All the interns <laughs> fire us so quick. Yeah, uh, but but no, it should be fun and be it's like, a fun we don't thing. Don't trust, like, your boss on this. They don't want you to do this. If they tell you it's going to be awful, they're lying to you. It's, it's... Jackie, you might agree with this then, because I saw something, and I almost immediately sent it out, and I was like, no, I haven't said enough in the group chat to for this not to sound weird, but it was like, unions are like condoms. The more somebody convinces you, or tries to convince you that you don't need it, the more you probably need it. 100%. The more someone... Yes fights against it, the more likely a union is very necessary. And you can see that in this. We had an expectation, well, not really an expectation, but we had a hope and optimism that the company would just remain neutral because it does tout all of these progressive lines. Yeah. But like how Amazon touts the same progressive line or Starbucks, they're doing the same, at least low-budget version, of all the union-busting tactics they're doing. They, they're, if they haven't hired a goddamn lawyer, they're going to eventually, once they figure out how big this is. I love that, I, I love that, like, we've been saying, yo, it's like 15 out of 18 yeah, stores, they, like, this is gonna happen. I'm saying once we and figure out, once they figure out, because it's public information, it like, really it's is. out there, we can talk about that. It's 15 out of 18, bud. Maybe even more at this point. But I love that they're like still trying to say fifteen out it's of eighteen people stores stores. Right? Fifteen out of eighteen stores have like the majority of their stores. Unfortunately, like, the Indiana side is the part that no one's on board. Um, that's not because of Indiana. Indiana. It's not because of Indiana. It's because this probably of... won't help your car. Do you, do, you think, do you think cost of living is also cheaper in Indiana? Because I think that is my conclusion. For one of the other stores being against it too. Oh yeah, uh, cost of living is incredibly uh, cheap. That's. That's in my mind, all the people who are experiencing these things and really see the need for benefits and raises are the people who are like working part time because they're in college. But also if you're in college and you have to work part time, you're also living in the East End or downtown or Old Louisville, just very expensive places to live. And so 
like you really do need to be making 15 an hour to afford rent at like an $800 a month one bedroom apartment and yeah. even, or studio apartment even. and even for the people that like oh we're getting a raise this doesn't matter you're all making a big fuss out of nothing trying to like piss off that manager you don't like or whatever I, I don't even know if this is an exact quote if you yourself have said this uh, I didn't see it I'm just uh, telepathic is that what that is yes yeah and that's the truth. I know Preston did air quotes on a pot, on a non-visual medium right now. Um, but no, it is the truth. I, that just came off the top of my head. The, hey, buddy, rent price, God bless Indiana, but the rent prices are going to go have to go up eventually. Um, it's going to, it's just because no one wants to live there that they're so low. And I know that's like a great thing. Real. Re, what? It's real. It's real. It's real. Uh, the shout, sh this is going out to this all the Hoosiers. <laughs> this one's for you, Indiana. Please, please uh, sign on to the union stuff. If you haven't heard from me already, you'll hear from me soon when I come into your job and bother you. But I'll give you a lot of money for it. Not, not as a bribe, as in like a tip. Oh my God, I shouldn't have said that uh, part. Uh, Jackie, that's legal. Okay. Uh, and um, I'll I'll give you a a, a juicy a juicy uh, tip. Wait, no. Uh, I'll give you uh, 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 I'll give you uh, I'll give you uh, a picture of my rats. Hey, I would. They're they're kind of cute. I don't know what it is, but yeah, that might Preston, still be bribery. Yeah, uh, I don't Preston, know. Preston, why weren't you at the news? Oh, because I was at work. Yeah, you Preston was being shit. a working stiff. You, no, no, that's good. No, yeah. shut up. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> shut up. No, that's not scabbing. That's not what that is. You're, you're, we don't want anyone to not go to work. We want everyone to continue going to work because we like our jobs. We just don't want to, well, we hate our jobs, but we like working there. And it's not, we're not doing this to, like, destroy the company, so, like, oh, Matt's wait. not going to work. Jack, you know what got me heated? What? R reading Reddit and seeing somebody try to say that us getting raises would affect inflation. Bro, do you really think people at your local coffee shop getting raises is going to affect inflation in the entire goddamn country? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking For about? For an entire goddamn currency. Exactly. What? Well, they use an That's USB not even in how life. inflation Literally. works. People just set the inf they, 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 people it's just, just don't a know number what they're talking about at all. Bro. People people hear the shit on Tucker Carlson and they just run with it. It's the most show most viewed show in the fucking country. What if they said uh you were uh, uh pinko scum? Uh <laughs> very interesting. It. We'll find it. out next on Maybe I am uh, Pinko Scum. Maybe. You might be Pinko Scum. I might be pinko scum. Who knows? But point being, unions, they're great. If you're not in the... It, shout out all Heine Brothers employees. Uh, if you're not in the union, that means we're not friends yet. Um, unless you're the ones I am friends with that aren't in it. Uh, I think there's like two of you and you're just both really busy. And uh, shout out those guys. Is this a bad time to announce that I'm the CEO of Heine Brothers? <gasps> oh, shit! Lou was Mike Mays in disguise all along. How how did this happen? Um, we have joked about undercover boss at, at work before, and I think that would be so funny. Because you know was, he just was, works shifts, right? He does. Yeah, at like some of the like stores around Bardstown. Oh hell no! Nah. Yeah, See, and I was about to shift. I was about to joke that I bet he, it would be like any episode of Undercover Boss where the boss comes in and is actually really fucking horrible at the job. Yeah, inconspicuous. Real inconspicuous. Yeah, he comes in and like just hangs out. That he does come in and hang stores. out at our store a lot. But sometimes and he I like does he's like, stuff. You should uh, you know, transitioning back into what we were talking about. It's me, uh Louie. Louie. Yeah, it's me, Louie. Louie uh walked out of here. Uh and by walked out of here, I mean I'm back. Um, we had to take a pause for a second. Uh, unions are great. Um, I, I, we should all work. 
at, uh, at at some nice places where we all have a seat at the table. That's such a great way to describe it, too. Yeah, you just want to... Uh, oh, God. <clears throat> start, start talking. Start. Act like you just cleared your throat and start talking. Hello. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Louis did not leave at all. Louis's been here the whole time. Uh, uh, I I actually got up and left. I had to go do something. Okay, so back to that email that we never addressed because we got distracted by something. So incredibly water slides, um, water slides yeah. <laughs> so what did you think was the craziest part of the, the one that went out to all the managers that, that we got a nice little glimpse of? Just really bad. You don't have to read the whole thing, but just read some of the parts of it that are silly. I, I'll read. I'll read some. I'll, I'll. I'm not gonna read out like our specific benefits or names, um, or all the specific benefits. Uh, but I do like the just the opening salvo here. Um, <laughs> I like that he signs his first name, no last name. Who's I'm salvo? getting to it. The the keeper. <laughs> I'm getting to it. Uh, two. All at Heine Brothers from Mike. That's hard. 4 8 22. Uh, dateline. Uh, there's no dateline. Uh, we have heard some of our employees have expressed interest in forming a union. Because a union could have an impact on everyone, we want to share some important information. There's a lot of information here, so thanks in advance for taking the time to read it. Only people who hated you. Uh, read all of this. I'm really sorry. That, that must suck That's to hear. True. But the only people who hated you read this entire thing, Mike. If someone already liked you, they wouldn't have fucking bothered. And if somebody didn't care, they wouldn't have opened the email. Yeah, if anything, this just made people realize they more. don't get a bunch of uh, uh, benefits that supposedly they're supposed to be getting. <laughs> because almost nobody at your company works full-time, bud. Yeah, you have like one store where that happens, man. Come on. Uh... First, Tricks. I want to be clear that Heine Brothers and I respect employees' right to form a union. No, they don't. Not really. Not true. Uh, with that said, I also want everyone to understand why Heine Brothers and I are opposed to having a union in our store. A union in our stores. Hey, they straight up said it too. Yeah, that's a po You can't say, um, uh, I respect employees' right to form a union, and then say, but I'm opposed to it. That's not in the next sentence. <laughs> yeah, in the next sentence. Like I said, just really. Really bad writing. The I, first I thing I love unions, but go fuck yourself. It's right. like it's like I'm reading it. When I was reading it, I was like, "Oh shit, he's gonna actually stay neutral." And then I was like, "Oh, okay, he never juked mind." You real hard. He he real real juke on me. They had us in the first half. <laughs> yeah, Not they really did. They really did, dude. Uh, I believe you are better off, and so and so is Heine Brothers without a union coming between us. Oh, Any, okay. Oh, so, Mike, I didn't know you felt about me like that. I've also seen a bunch of <laughs> memes that are uh, anti-work where it's like, anytime somebody says, uh, we like to think of our company as a family, just be prepared to be like uh, traumatized in only the way that your family can traumatize you. Yeah. Like a very unique brand of trauma is about to happen to you. If your company is like, we're like a family here. Yeah, yeah because um, um, families wouldn't uh, do any of the shit that this, this guy has uh, and his company and his uh, upper management staff, which are mainly the people that I think do this. I think the main takeaway from this email is that uh, Mr. Mike... He doesn't really have have he doesn't got the chops anymore. I don't think. Oh, and he's real out of touch too. That that is what I took away Incredibly from the out email. Of touch. I'm like, bro, you don't even know. Yeah, most of like okay, they they bring on bringing on a uh, people services director, which is a fancy word for HR. Yeah, it's um, really dumb how they decided that as the title instead of being like, yeah, that, just that call lady it HR, from HR. Man. The, 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 the messages that she sends out, she just says HR as yeah, her title. She knows, like, what, her she knows what her job is. Come on, man. Huh. Um, and uh, like some of the benefits, like uh, 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 employee assistance plan, uh, EAP, 100% company paid benefit available to all employees. It's like, uh, uh, it's like six free counseling sessions. I, um, I said apparently literally no one has ever taken ever this used or used it or know how to get it, but it's a thing. It is a thing. It's kind of newer. And I have literally said, 
it is six sessions a year. That is fucking pointless. Like, that is not therapy. That is... And the way they even describe it as, when trying to sell it as a benefit for you to use, because they sent out a... HR sent out a thing, like, trying to sell it to people just the other day, was, like, if you need a, a, sh- a shoulder to lean on or some shit like that, like, in, in your moment of weakness, remember that we have this uh, at your disposal... We, you all seem very upset. Have you tried going to therapy? Right. Um, that's like literally what like some of the upper management people think. They think we're all just like weird mentally ill queers who just don't have what it takes to have a job. Like they say basically that. And uh, which is true, but we also have a union. Hey, <laughs> fuck you! No, all of my coworkers are incredibly good at their we job. Might, we the might the be queer mentally ones, ill queers, the better. but we are also. Very capable of the job. We're good at it. We're, we're, we're the, the best. The only times yeah. we're bad at it is when this dog shit company just has like some guy dump shit on you, uh, right? Just like dump shit on us, or just like uh, send us weird yeah. emails, or like not fix anything, like ever. Uh, my God, the amount of things that just don't get fixed. Yep. And like the amount of contractors they hire who are like explicitly racist yeah. and like. Like, One of them's real creepy. Yeah, or yeah, really creepy. Yeah, like real explicitly, creepy. like He's Confederate a real flag hat. Yep, Confederate flag hat, uh, mustache stands way too close. Um, That's conflicting messages in your almost, company. If almost, you have the guy with the he doesn't even work for the company. He's like a third party. Yeah, he's and a ca- contractor. I know it's they weird that they, that they hire him. Um, they don't have to hire the Confederate flag i know redneck. they're choosing to do it every i'm sure time he's they do cheap it. i'm sure he's fucking cheap because yeah shit just breaks all the time anyway if, a, if you hire a good guy it wouldn't break two weeks later or um, days later uh that addition of paved paid, paid bereavement leave uh again not something they've actually given to anyone yet yeah, even people who have requested paid bereavement it leave. yeah they they say because we have to be fully staffed first but that's like not an option that doesn't happen anymore yeah um so it's a lie. Uh, weekly, mm-hmm. weekly listening sessions. They're gonna listen because, Be- because but doing the one things, person... listening, they can do. Doing yeah. things about the things they listen to, not on the table. Yeah, not so fucking much. The difference between listening. Okay, and, and hearing. by by listening sessions, they literally mean the one person from HR is going to every store over the course of months, and is there if you want to try to have a conversation with her and that is not even going to amount to anything because like we already said go to HR with it they just kind of smile and nod and and they have no power to do fucking anything I mean Probably. no they do they have power the, the, the point HR of an HR manager it's one Heidi person it's, it's not the it's not a, it's not anything. like a rep it is the lady from HR I don't know. You can complain to a lot of shit to HR without them actually being able to do shit. That's true. Well, but also but HR also, I exists. Getting paid not to do anything. Also, HR exists as a concept uh, just to protect management from liability. Nothing more. It's not actually there to improve like employee employer relations. It's to protect management from liability. That is how always been it. It's when you have enough employees, That's you have to hire a the guy. HR dude's job in the office. Like, yeah. If you needed an example. Yeah. Prime. Um, okay. Let's see what else. Uh, COVID-19 hazard pay during the pandemic. Why? Where did it go? Inflation just kept going up. I'm reading off of Jess. I'm taking the lead. Okay. I'm reading off on her. Interesting. Uh, gender affirming care provided through our insurance. Oh, that one they specifically got rid of in the one that actually went out to all the employees because no one gets it. Yeah, because it, because it's a fatal joke to the entire like mostly it? queer staff HRT for like trans people like me. A lot of us are queer. None of us. I have to pay like fucking one hundred and thirty dollars a month to get the medication that if I don't take, I will just kill myself. Mm-hmm. Um. And so does everyone else that, like, works here. Even the people that work, like, a lot. But if they're not full-time, they just don't get insurance. And the HRT just doesn't get covered. And so this is just a lie. They took that out because no one actually gets it. Because they don't have, like, queer, trans, full-time, like, people. So 
Or so, if they do, for some reason, they still don't get it. Uh, I'm not going to talk about people's insurance specifics on your podcast. Yeah. What are what are management's objectives by putting out all these white lies and fucking empty promises? Um, I mean, you to tell try me, to like, convince the, the uninformed people, dude. Yeah, there are people we haven't yet gotten to speak to, people that just haven't been around, and the company mm-hmm. is incredibly into... Getting those people on their side first, because if we can't hit, basically it's the boss campaign and us are a race right now. Uh, I'm not going to say how many we have. I'm just going to, uh, they're they're underestimating us. Um, And whoever, um, whoever, we basically have to make our super majority and then we can force recognition and then get to the negotiating table and that's where the real big boy fight is. Um, they need to stop this. Uh, they would first need to stop us from reaching the supermajority by getting enough people to disagree and not sign the petition. Uh, and then, or uh, failing that, um, uh, uh, so, somehow defeat us in the contract. Neg- well, not that. Um, failing that... Um, they, they they want to stop an election from happening, uh, or, well, succeeding at that, I guess. If they succeed at the supermajority, we would file for an election through the NRLB. Mm-hmm. Everyone has a secret vote, uh, and whether the union comes or not, and if the vote wins, union shows up. Vote doesn't, union is gone. But, uh, and, but that's a simple majority, which we, ha- we can get... Uh, pretty pretty easily pretty handily um and at that point we're good then it then it'll happen then it'll happen then we get to the fun part which is contract negotiation which let's is go. where let's go which is where and like the thing we actually start to get the shit that we fucking want and deserve as, so. as much as it as we physically possibly can we are not people of promises we can't promise anything but by god we're going to try and get every goddamn last little bit that we can and at the very least see what the company mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so uh which is so important i don't have to keep this part in but uh if you have a majority of people in 15 out of 18 stores i mean you have to be close to 16 overall or 60 percent overall i mean yes but see they it's, just it's don't... about getting everybody to actually participate yeah and, and you don't need to cut this out it's fine it's it's those are our representatives from each store some stores only have one or two people um and re- but regardless that is how many stores we've said that uh they can continue not believing it if they don't want yeah but uh, whatever helps them sleep at night i guess but yeah Whatever helps them sleep at night, but 15 stores are represented. Should they be scared? Yeah, totally. Oh, 100%. They should be terrified. They're they're much less scared than they should be. Uh, It's a very strange, complete, total bungle uh, on their part. We're we're, we're a very strong, incredibly dedicated union uh, that's going to win this fight, and we're going to get all the stuff we deserve. I'm going to have to stop... I'm gonna have to stop paying one hundred and like thirty dollars for HRT every uh, month eventually, so fuck it. I might as well just do that shit now, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it, it, yeah, it's a whole thing. Also, uh, you saw that video from TikTok where it was like explaining how their company uh, does payment throughout the entire company, so everybody makes the same amount, including the boss and like owner and shit, because everybody does an equal amount of work to kind of keep the company going in a way. Just yes, like any company where everybody's co- important. A, a cooperative, which Tiny Brothers is in name, if you did not know, it's called Tiny Brothers Coffee Cooperative. They took the cooperative out of the Good, name because, because, you know, that yeah. would be a blatant like, that's fucking still lie because that's not how co-ops work. That's still officially what it is. You can still buy a co-op membership to Tiny Brothers, which is a thing that there are co-op groceries that work in the same way that aren't technically co-ops. But that's disgusting. Them. Um, yeah. there is a co-op for coffee shop that is going to open uh, in Old Global, and I'm super excited, and no, I can't wait on, to go there. Hold on, hold on, That guy's really racist. Really? Yes. Bro, what the fuck? I thought it was a bunch of former Hine Brothers employees. It is, but the one who it is, we gotta cut all this. The one who it is, is really 
fucking racist. Dude, how do you know that not me? He worked at Douglas Loop, and August works at Douglas Loop. Okay, cool. Okay. Never oh, mind. Cut all that. I'll still go there once, just see what it's like, but also, I guess, fuck them. They support racism. It's the same reason it's that I don't... Up. Apparently oh, only fucked two... Up. Apparently <laughs> only, like, two black people work there, and they're both, like, black, non-binary, queer people who, yes, also work at Heine Brothers, but they're having to do, like, all of the work for some reason, oh, but shit. everyone's still getting paid the same amount. But oh, they're doing shit. all the, like, shit work, and he's being very weird and abusive to them, which makes sense because of Adrian's past actions at Douglas Loop. Interesting. Elevator music till. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Let's let's uh, wrap this up. I want to okay. I want to ask you one more thing. So if uh, you had any advice to give to anyone else trying to start an organization or be a part of an organization like this, or whether they should unionize at their work or not, you know, just kind of advice that you would give generally. Um. You should. Everyone should. Uh, the time is now. It's it's happening, as they say. Amazon, they've got their first union. Uh, Starbucks, they've won the last couple days. They've won three out of three of their union elections. They're popping up all over the country. Yeah, they nice. are. And that's good for us. That's good for them. And it is, it's good for everyone. Teamsters has uh, hired a whole new leadership that's uh, hopefully going to be, uh, that's so far, has seemed to be a lot more willing to work with mm-hmm. Uh, more recent labor movements, mm. uh, and it's a it's a wonderful time, and uh, the workers are pissed, all of them, every yeah. single one, for good reason. And like the fast food workers unions movement has kind of petered out at this point. Our union SEIU is working on that a lot, um, but it can start again. The only reason it petered out is because all this horrible shit started happening. But guess what? Shit has only gotten worse, and the horrible shit ain't gonna stop happening. So we need to get back out there. If you work at like a fucking McDonald's or something, look at the Starbucks shit and the Amazon shit as the same style of shit. It's a giant like megalith of a company that can't just like leave a town. Like the union work is usually hard because sometimes if you're unionizing a big place, they'll just pull the factory up and ship it off somewhere else. Yeah. To just be to somewhere that doesn't have a union. Uh, but there's the end, a McDonald's money everywhere, and they can't just, like, close a McDonald's on, like, you know, like, fucking Warwick, Warwick Avenue or whatever. Yeah. Like, it's, incre- it's, it's a, the perfect time for it. it. Now is the time. Unionize your job. You, if you're a grad student, unionize the grad students. Yeah, That's a job. I saw I saw that is happening at uh, <coughs> some school in India. IU is it, is, is it just IU Bloomington? IU Bloomington. I, I want that to happen more places because it well, blows I my specific. mind when I see that like grad students basically are professors for certain courses, but get paid so shit and treated like yeah. shit. I mean, ne- undying solidarity with the uh, Bloomington Grad Workers uh, Union. They're preparing to launch a strike. I'm probably fucking going up there. Yeah. Um, Are you? To stand on that picket line if they have it. Uh, cool. I yeah, will. Hopefully you can come. That'd be more. really cool. Um, but no, Undying Solidarity them. I've spoken to a lot of folks from there, and they got a lot of sol- solidarity with us. Um, and so does, I mean, this is a union town. Louisville's a union town. The fact that the local coffee shop isn't union already is a cry and shame. And like, It's a goddamn shame. It's a goddamn shame, man. Um, like, like Schnitzelberg, the Schnitzelberg location is uh, like within a mile of like 15 union halls. Oh my God. Just one, one location is just within a, we, we, we can get, uh, we can get 15 union halls of guys out to one of our stores if we need to ever, if we need to do something as drastic, which we don't want, which we're hoping we don't get to cause that's very scary. And I want to get paid and also keep working um, and have a job. Uh, very important to say that out loud. Um, Is that just said, a reminder, Jack? You said it a lot of times. Yes. Uh, they know. They know. I hope they know. I really don't want to. Listen, Mike. Listen, Mike. <laughs> Mike. Listen, we listen, know my manager. Um, listen, listen, that one guy. Um, all the, really, ops all, all the ops managers. All the ops managers. Listen, guys. I really like working here. 
I know it's kind of weird that I just got the job, and it kind of seems like I uh, planted an evil seed within one of your best operating stores, but uh, it's not an evil seed. It's a seed to make your jobs easier, because uh, guess what? It's a lot easier to hire people when... Uh, when you're treating them right, and also uh, when all you have to do is hand them a piece of paper and say, sign this, and you're done, uh, which is kind of like what a union contract is. It really creates, it takes away the all of the need to have all these shitty extra jobs to do all this, like, nonsense, and those jobs that do need to exist having to take on, like, the role of like bargaining and bartering for people's benefits and income and having to see if people can get what and giving raises at these times or that time and making sure people get raises, making sure people get accommodations for specific things. If there's one contract that says it all, that everyone signs, then you don't have to worry. And in my mind, it has to be easier to like have... At that point, it's a cost-saving system. And it just has to be easier in my mind for like... To communicate with one idea instead of having to go around and consult all your individual stores. Like if you have a union who is already kind of doing that for you by getting the consensus from your employees of what they need, Completely. you don't have to worry about that. Obviously, you're not worrying about that right now, and that's kind of what the problem is. But did, Yeah, Mike. <laughs> listen, Mike. Listen, Mike. I know you got... I, I know you're sitting there in your two-bed, six-bath... Um, Two bits? Six bath? Yeah. Sorry. 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 Yeah, I don't know who told me that, but apparently he's got two beds, six bath. I'm That's assuming it's I'm assuming it's from all the coffee shitting. <laughs> it's not even like What does he like to take a bath in each room of his house? Is that what it is? Fucking yeah. psycho. See the does thing he is just like taking baths way too much. Yes, Mike Mays the thing uses is, all the water in Louisville. Having six baths in two be- bedrooms is crazy. Hey you who took a cold shower this morning for no goddamn reason. Thank Mike Mays. He used up all your hot water, even though you don't live in the same house. You guys are also misconsidering. It could be something more normal, like... Or weirder. <laughs> like, my brain, <laughs> we, my brain immediately weirder. went to, oh, uh, Mike Mays you, just has, like, weird orgies in his bathroom. He's one of those weird rich people. I mean, you can't objectively say that's not true. <laughs> I mean, you, the, oh, you can't factually I'll, say... I'll, Thanks for listening. We'll be back next week. Make sure to follow us on Instagram. Handles in the description as always. And if you could, share the podcast with someone and give us some feedback. Thank you.